It's a new beautiful day. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so everything's actually still closed. Traffic is still chill. So today I'm gonna drive a little bit out there. I'm gonna drive 24 minutes to get to a skate park that was, I think, originally built for a street league or something like that, and now it's just there. It's really, really nice, but for some reason, nobody really ever goes there. And I'm excited. I'm excited to test out maybe the stair set there. I do kind of feel like jumping. I have to set up a new skateboard because I've broken three boards in essentially three days. Like every time I skate my flat rail, I break a board. And it's because I don't have any new boards in. So today I'm not even skating a Revive skateboard. I'm skating a Blue Tile skateboard. I'm sponsored by Revive if you're new to this channel. Blue Tile is the skate shop I ride for. So technically I'm still sponsored by them and Revive supports local skate shops. So they're not gonna be upset that I'm skating a different board but it's still kind of a bummer that they haven't sent me a new package in a while, especially because I have designed one of the new Er Revive boards. But today is also about time optimization. Yesterday, we tried to do so much in one day, and it's not even so much even. I'm, I feel like I'm repeating words a lot right now. My brother's in town, and I haven't been able to figure out time management with other people and also the things I like to do in a day. So I really essentially want three accomplishments. I want to skate, ideally do something in skating or parkour that is an accomplishment, and I want to have like basically a big uh, montage of things that I've accomplished throughout the year, and skate tricks is definitely one of those things that I would like to add to that video. So I'm trying to make sure I get as much as I can, so at least one solid skate session. The problem is we're driving 24 minutes to get there, it's like not as optimized as it could be, but I'm trying to see if I can, even with somebody at my house visiting, I can go get the session and try to keep it, you know, two hours or less. I can hang out with my brother. We can go do a touristy thing and then I can do a solid workout and then we can maybe do boxing together because he's been wanting to spar. I'm not sure why he's really good at boxing, so he's just going to kick my ass, but I guess he's trying to get me to get into it a little bit. And then after that, hopefully create something in the day and the creating is what takes the longest. That could be a, you know, that could be 30 minutes where I create something and draw something or it could be four hours. So you have to really, really leave that space for creating something in terms of design. And now on top of all this, I would love to add vlogging like I'm doing right now and editing. And editing definitely takes about two hours. And then, you know, you wanna make sure that you're spending time with your brother. So I'm preparing all this actually because we're gonna have a kid coming in soon. And I'm like seeing what I can get away with in the day if I just stay focused and I mean, I'm, I'm always focused, but if I can just stay consistent, what I can get away with in a day while simultaneously spending tons of time with my child or at least enough time because I want to spend, you know, all day every day uh, when she comes into this world. So let's figure that out today. Right now we are setting up the blue tile board. I know my posture is insane right now, but I need to get low to get that proper, proper slice. I already did a bit of the grip job beforehand because the loudest part, I didn't want you to just suffer through. So I'm trying to figure out where a lot of my time is going. This morning, it took me about an hour and a half to get out of the house. Right now it's about 8 a.m. Um, I'm gonna stay here till about 10. So my session is getting shorter and shorter as I'm setting this up. But the biggest problem obviously was driving 25 minutes to get here. There are closer skate parks. The problem is that I just, I, I need to change it up once in a while because I can't get just all the same footage on the same park. Okay, let me get through this grueling noise so you don't have to listen to it. Oh my God. Oh, just punched myself in the eye so hard. Oh my God, that hurts so bad. My knuckle was like perfectly just like boink. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's a, that's a good reason to film everything because you catch yourself doing the really smartest things and speaking good. Okay, so I didn't know these were reusable. I actually don't know if they are. I'm going to try my best to see if I can put this on my next board, even though when the board broke, it bent like crazy. You see that? Oh, man. I literally can't even open up my left eye. So we'll see. If I can open it up in like five minutes, then we can skate. That would be hilarious if I can't skate today because I genuinely can't open up my left eye. And I'm supposed to box my brother as well, so that's gonna be a nice addition. Dude, I can't even open it up. Oh my God. Oh, I mean, I've hit my eye, but it was like direct knuckle in the pupil. All right, so these are coming out just fine. I think the actual, yeah, it's not too warped. You can see it like that. It's warped like the skateboard was, but if the screw doesn't actually get into the board, 
on the end that's kind of warped up, um, I'm just gonna take it right back off because you do not want a flapping, a flapping rail. Oh my God, look at this. The board was like brand new essentially. Now it's broken in half. Oh, I must look insane. Cars are driving by. I'm like talking to myself. I'm just gonna get back to you in a second. I'll try to recover a little bit. Test out some of the flat stuff first and then we'll, dude, my eye is watery still. Ooh. All right, at least I have energy right now. The landing is really sticky for sure. Okay, I think I have decent energy to start. Oh man, my eye hurts. Definitely want to at least maybe start skating this hubba. Feels like it'll be the best like warm up, but it's also just really, really, really like pretty. Like this is a very, very nice hubba. And this skate park is like a mirror hubba or mirror skate park. So the other side is very similar. It's actually a little bit different. I'm not wearing my headphones because there are homies that pulled up. I don't even know if they're skating. Oh, they're skating, they're skating. Oh, they're getting in there. Okay, cool. So I feel, oh, I forgot that I have flat spots on my wheels. So that's, oh, whatever, we drove too far. Ooh, that feels good. We do some variations of that. Back 50, front 180, back 180. Just like test out the watts. Make sure our ollies are solid. Trying to figure out like a good way to run up. I wonder if I could just like drop in here and have enough speed. Uh, not for a lot of tricks. I think that felt good. The thing is sometimes a hubba is easier than a flat ledge depending on the scenario. If it goes down a little bit, you don't have to go fast into it. So that's nice. So let's do the same thing. The back 50, back 180, hopefully. First try. Whoa, that was terrible. All right, so I'm gonna do one more. And I really think that the thing we did to my eye is not, not good. <laughs> like my left eye is still watering. It was like 10 minutes ago when I did that. Man, it's crazy too, because I remember skating here one day, one of my friends was just doing an ollie flip crook. Like that's insane. Brody Penrod, what happened to him, man? So good. All right, right here. Yeah, that's fine. Feeling solid so far. Uh, I'm like seeing them stretch and I'm like, I should definitely go through a stretching routine, but I actually stretch more by explosive movement. Like actually taking the time to just like try to stretch raw doesn't really work for me. So uh, here we go, back 5-0. I think we're gonna try to get... What up, how you living? <laughs> That's sick, yeah. Sorry I'm mic'd up so I'm like talking while... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Want, yeah. I didn't want to ruin your no, no, no. Too much. Totally chilling. Totally. I'd never do this, but I was just like, I'll try it today. So, but yeah, hell yeah, man. Oof. Felt good. I think we could probably do a back 5 0 front 180. I think that'd be kind of sick. It'd be cool if we just did it right out the gate. Look at that. That was cool. I'm telling you, sometimes like down ledges are better than flat ledges. All right, now is when we get into the slides. These freak me out. So like even a no slide freaks me out. But if I just commit, it will happen. There we go, that felt good. Split trick might be a kickflip back 5-0 front 180. It's a little long, so that would actually be sick. Yep, that felt good. Oh, man, I hate that my left eye is blurry. Like it's crazy how hard that, oh, how hard I punch my own face. So whatever skate park I end up near in the future, I'm gonna throw contests. Like I'm just gonna bring a bunch of stuff one day. I could do that here in LA, obviously it's a good place to do it, but just don't, look, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Let's land this. There we go, oh, cool. Maybe do a back tail to fakey. That's a lot of trust, you gotta like be, fully on top of it. It's definitely one of those hubs you don't want to not get into the trick. Cause you can, it, it's longer than it looks. So like if you don't get into the beginning, you're going to be on the ledge. You're not going to clear past it. Yeah, like that, like as long as you touch it, you'll clear it. But if the board doesn't come with you, you're going to land on it. Cause it's, you know what, let's measure it. It is one, two, 
three, four, five, six, it's like eight feet. So think about that, it's kind of long. Okay, yeah, that's how thick he feels good. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think of like the trick. There we go, okay. I wanna just go for a backsmith, like really just give it my all first try. First backsmith is always, always a stick. Yep, I knew I'd stick. Literally impossible to beat that pattern. Oh no, see? I don't like that. See, that felt amazing. Oh my God, that felt actually so good. I'm gonna do one more. That's okay. There we go. Can we start flipping into it? Wow, that felt good. It's just, that's the scary part is like, when you flip in, you can kind of miss locking in and it makes it really spooky, but it's kind of perfect for it, right? You know, kick flip, kick flip back 50, kick flip back 5-0. Oh God, that was a little gross. Uh, I'm fine. All right, I think we flip into the hubba. Hope for the best. Look at these handrails too, they look good. Dude, honestly, these handrails are really nice. This whole thing's nice. Yeah, I think I need a little more speed. <sighs> Someone's walking up. I don't know what they're doing. But, there we go. All right, what are you doing, bro? Okay, here we go. What the fuck is this guy doing? Come on. So. Huh? Uh, I gotta get this trick first, but I'm trying to grind down the hubbo with these three different tricks. Okay, I'm so distracted. What the? F Come on. Ah, I got stuff in my eye. Come on. This sucks. This sucks. So I gotta wait this out. I'm just gonna stand here awkwardly. Like that one I was ready to commit to, but it felt super, I mean, I just felt awkward, honestly. I'm being stared at, huh? First try, hell yeah. Alright, 5-0 is gonna be strange. The Smith might be a little scary. Man, this sucks. I know that sounds weird, because you might be thinking like, it's not a big deal, but trust me, this is sketchy. Like just like waiting when someone's like lurking around you. You got like an expensive camera, you got your bag. Dude's just chilling. Take out these rails, pretend I'm killing time. <sighs> Alright, anyways, I'm just gonna do one more cable 50. Cause like if I try the cable back smooth distracted, I will go down. Like that would not be pretty. Let's just go to the other side of the park for now. Super, super lame. For now, while homie's standing there, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna skate the stairs. It's about the size of a seven, eight. It. All right, I'm gonna kick a bit because I think I think I could do stuff on this. Kick flip, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna kick a bit, but I kind of want to do like switch flip, switch front side flip, switch back side flip. Like those two seem fun to try. Yeah, damn. All right, homie's moving. All right, switch alley first. Switch flip. Try the other two. Ah, oh, yeah. Pretty small gap, actually. Oh my god. Oh no, they're shit. Oh my god, it's so fast. Holy crap. I'm 
gonna try to switch front stuff up. I'm gonna commit to the second one. So I'm only gonna bail once. Yeah. Done that. God damn it. I should have stuck it. I give myself a break. Been too hard on myself. Okay, right here. Oh, fuck. I committed. Shit, oh, brand new board. Let's see. Okay, we're solid. Ah, for fuck! Ah, oh, it sucked. Oh my god, it sucked. Nope. Ah. Yeah, that's not happening. Nope. Nope. Fuck! Fuck! There we go. I'm happy with that. We might skate the entire center area. Like, I kind of want to look at the rails a little bit. Do basic tricks. The cool thing is, like, they're low, but they're long. So they feel kind of legit. Like, I'd be happy if I did, like, any nollie trick into it. Like, I was thinking nollie front board. I'm like, if I went fast, it would just work. And I would actually be proud of that because I haven't uh, jumped on Nolly on a rail in forever because rails terrify me. But I can also try my switch back step flip from this angle. So I feel like it's just set up perfectly. But yeah, let's uh, dab on these rails a bit. Is that a proper expression? Dab. It's funny that Gen Z probably hasn't even heard that word. How insane is that? Really slick because of my rails and my legs are already tired. So like I actually felt the uh, I felt the resistance in my knees when I went to pop. Like they were kind of like, nah, don't do it. So I'm gonna front board it, maybe 50 it, and then we'll try switch back some flips because I just don't want to get stuck doing something I don't want to do. Which uh, it's just gonna happen. It's all good. All right, so let's do the 50. I mean they're perfect. Like these are really sick. You don't see a square handles very often. So like these are like, this is the rail that I should tail side front big spin on, honestly. But uh, yeah, no excuse, I should just do that. Dude, I'm telling you, my left eye is still blurry. How hard I punched it too. All right, so I'll try three switch back step flips. If I don't commit to the fourth, fifth, or sixth one after that, I won't try it again. But. That would just be a nice like addition to the switch front side flip and then switch backside flip. Yeah, like that wasn't too bad. Oh my god, dude! Wow, this sucks. Do not like this environment. I could I could actually stuck that one. It wouldn't have been the best, but I could have stuck it. All right, so next try, if I don't commit, I'm done. Let's see how far my board goes. Yes. That's when you get lucky. It hits the transition, actually rolls back. Okay, here we go. Huh, I stuck it. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, I actually could have done that one. Dude, John, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Hell too. Hell yeah, dude. Hector. My name is Oriel. Oriel? Yeah. Oh, right, nice to meet you, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> I tried. And then I don't pop it. That's awesome. My left elbow is jacked, too. It'd be hurting. Oh man, is it 10 o'clock yet? Like it might already have been an hour and a half. No! Dude, that was sketch. Oh my God. Like I'm literally rolling away from that. That was probably the like, most, that's probably the only time I've ever rode away landing like that. I always fall. <laughs> Dude. And then when I get the solid pop, the flick is bad. Really hard to figure out that timing. Oh my God, that was better. See, that's actually the one I want. Little cigarette on the ground. Okay. Like, I like everything about that. So let's just do that again and again. See, I didn't pop. And I still probably could have had a solid commit. Dude, oh my God. Oh, this gap's kind of killing me. This is what happens though when you have a lot of adrenaline. Like, gaps themselves aren't bad. If you build up to adrenaline, too much adrenaline, it destroys your body. Like, wears you out, and then the next day you're sore. So you have to like, somehow stay calm the whole time you're trying something adrenaline-inducing. But then you have to have enough adrenaline to where you can keep going. 
skating's cool, man. Honestly, skating's cool. There's a lot like, there's a lot to it that I think is really, maybe not unique, but you just get to learn so many lessons with one little toy. It's really cool. And most of all, perseverance. Like learning how to just to keep going and keep going until it happens. Even if people tell you that it's insanity to keep repeating the same thing and expect different results. Skating actually proves that, uh, that it's worth going through the insanity. Right here. Oh my God, it hurt. I knew it would. I knew that was gonna hurt. God damn. So the board came right back to me. At least that, that's cool. That was awesome. Hell yeah. Dude, that was sick. <laughs> like I like the, oh shit, my camera. Oh, it's still recording, hell yeah. The irony of my camera actually dying as I was saying that. Like when I landed the switchbacks I flipped, I just remembered, oh my God, my battery was at 6% and I just filmed for 16 minutes. That's how long the switchbacks I flipped took. And then I looked and I was like, dude, it's about to die. And right when I started talking, it actually died. So luckily we got it right in time. But now I'm a little worn out, but we technically still have 25 minutes. It's 9.35 right now. So I could try to maybe do the tail side on the rail, but I'm like, is it safe to skate a rail when my legs are this sore? I think we're going to mess with the handrail just a little bit. It's a little spooky. Handrails always scare me. Cause the thing is like with a handrail, you just have to lock in. <laughs> like you can't, ooh, that, that's going. I think for if I wanted to do the tail side big spin, which is what I was thinking, I would literally need to wax it, like kind of a lot. It's just scary if anybody else comes here and tries to skate a handrail, expecting it to work like a normal handrail, they're gonna be like, sick. Somebody wax the hell out of it. But I think that's kind of the secret. So I don't know. I mean, I'm saying all this, but right now, even my legs are like, ugh. I feel like they can barely go right now. So I'm gonna try one grind, maybe a lip slide and then try tail slide. And if I have the energy, I'll do tail slide big spin. But if I can't just like go up and down and up and down, then I'll just call it. I mean, we've had a good session. The two flip tricks I'm actually really proud of. So uh, one more grind. We'll see where we're at. Uh, I like, I have the strength, but it's, it's, I'm tired. I just have to really focus on like, don't get lazy because that's when people get worked. Dude, I've skated this, as I was saying, Mickey Pop, I skated here with him one time and he was like murdering it, doing every possible trick. I skated a handle with him one time that was like tiny. It was like similar to this, like not even as long. And he fully sacked it. Like he's so, he can nollie flip back over crook handrails, but he sacked it because he was just like, of course I can bore slide it. So that's the thing, you always need to be focused even if it's on like the easier trick. So I'm gonna lip slide it. But like with this one, I can't just casually do it even though it's sort of a, casual trick you need to really focus on getting that clean pop you need to go fast and you just need to be like really engaged the whole time I still didn't do it very good good thing is this rail is small though like if you gap out I mean it's not even a foot high like it's legit like you could gap here and that makes it like that tall <laughs> so I'm gonna try tail slide because tail slide just seems like it would work really well and Maybe do a couple. I think we could do tail slide big spin. I'm getting ahead of myself because I haven't even tail slid it yet, but tail slide, let's a goal. We for sure got this. I'm just gonna commit first try. And if I don't, you can punch all my friends, including yourself, because we're a family. Oh yeah, first try. I felt good. I'm gonna do one more, cause I wanna like ollie out. So the big spin, the reason it's a little spookier is cause I would need to go a little slower. So this time I'm gonna try to go like the speed that I would need to go, but it just works. It's kind of one of those tricks. It's like, if I just commit to it, it just spins out fast. You know, I'm not a nose slide big spin person. I'm a tail slide big spin person. So this time I'm just gonna creep a little slower. Yeah, I mean, it feels good, but I am tired. Like I can genuinely feel my body being like, ooh. No, see, I knew it. I knew it. I told you. Like, if you're gonna tell us that big spin the rail, you gotta wax the heck out of it. Them the rules. Ooh, that's actually like scary. I don't know. That's actually really freaky. Oh, I wanna do it, but like that didn't feel great. See, like when I'm going slow enough to do it, I stick. See? 
like I stuck. I bailed. Okay, I'm gonna have to quit because I just said I would, but part of me is like, one more? <laughs> That's skateboarding, one more try. I had a shirt that I made, it said one more try, and this is what it meant. It meant like, you always give it one more. I mean, even when you give it one more, you give it one more. Oh, I stuck. I literally was gonna stick it, I stuck though. See, that's the problem, is I stick. Like, I'm ready for it, but then it catches me. It's not me, it's everyone else's fault. I'm kidding. There we go, suck it. Yes. Oh my God, I barely ollied. Ah! I hate this. Oh my God, I could have done that one. I kind of stepped off. Oh my God. I wasn't even like in it good. I was like all over the place. I still got so close. Like, that's how you know, you just gotta give it your all. Even if it feels like they handed you something terrible, you still just gotta be like, take it and make magic out of it. Oh, I'm stoked, but I'm not stoked. Ah, oh, I did it. I just didn't land the way I wanted to. I feel like that was pretty good. What do you think, one more? Oh, that one felt way better though. Let me watch the other one. I know I wanted to do it again. I didn't land the way I wanted to. I was a little like that. And like, I'm, you know, as I say, I'm a perfectionist, but it's not that. It's really not, people talk about being a perfectionist. No, it's like, you want to enjoy a certain sensation. That's all. Like, I want to enjoy the sensation of landing it as if I can do it easily. That's it. That's the feeling I like. So, I landed two in a row. I fell on that third one, even though that one actually felt like it was gonna be the best. And this is the next try. Let's see if it's like two, fall one, and the next. Technically I landed it. <sighs> see, I told you, it's like you really just have to commit. Like none of the tries where I didn't try to land on the board got even close. So it really is like that scary, like you just gotta get over the fear and fully commit. So, one more. That one wasn't good either. My hand touched. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell? I power slid like a foot. That was kind of cool, right? It wasn't good. Damn it. It wasn't good. How many have I landed? Five out of six, I think. Five out of six or six out of seven. Yes! Oh my god, there we go. Hey Sarah, or hey Siri, call Sarah Peachy. What's up, babe? I am just finishing up skating the pork pork. You called while I was on the last trick. Update, went straight home, picked up Brother Man. And now we're in little Tokyo. So I'm showing him this area, we're just walking around. Still keeping track of the time. I want to make sure that we don't uh, go overboard, but this is a little tricky. This is, well, yes, I think we're already in it. And then it'll get more. Oh, nice. Yeah, it gets very Asian soon. So I got an entire haul. I'm gonna show it later. I feel so, I hate like, I shouldn't point it out, but I have like cut on my lip and it's just like, it doesn't look great. Anyways, uh, my brother's inside, I gotta find him. So it's a big star. There he is. Hello. Brother in. That was awesome. I love stories like that. So fun. Yeah, so much fun. That's true. Wait, look at that. Side. Just like big no skateboards. So we just got lunch. It was delicious. We're also at Dick's. Just got some boxing gloves. Yeah. I'm gonna show them a little around here. I'm understanding where the time goes. It's it's this, 100%. I'll talk more about it in a bit, but I get it. <laughs> I have never, ever seen this place like this, ever. This is so 
packed. I've come here plenty of times where I was the only one here. Really? Yeah, oh, literally. That's why like, Yeah, this is blowing my mind. Finally made it. The sun is blinding me. Punching gloves. I have my gloves. It's time to kick Matthew's arsenogen. Back to where he came from. Korea. That's where you come from, right? Korea. Yeah, he came from South Carolina. So did I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we both, we're born from the same place. <laughs> there goes my joke. <laughs> we grew up in the same area. So this goes around the thumb. Ooh. All right. So uh, you see, I went up like that after doing three times around the wrist, three times around the hands. Oh, okay. okay. You think you can do this one? Uh, hell no. But I can. I can. We yeah. Can, Give it a go. I'll start. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll start. That. Yeah. And then I you go. You can't use any of that, can you? If I talk about. <laughs> I mean, I, I can just take it out. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Nice and tight. Yeah. Alright. Oh, actually, before we do this, we'll just emulate some jump rope. Why not? Hey, yo, you doing triples? You doing quadruples? <laughs> that was seven. Have you seen the guy do eight? Yeah. That was the, the best club ever. Right? Yeah, yeah. The two leads just come out. <laughs> yeah, my hand. I was holding the jump rope. <laughs> a little tight. I mean, yeah. But. It should feel a little tight. That's good, though. It's in? Yeah, okay. There you go. Phone call. I mean, the, the left hand is like perfect. The right hand, it's, it's always a mix up, right? When I do it, I'm like this a lot of times. Okay, okay. Because I'm just touching. Right, right, right. So, okay. Let's give it a jab. One. Okay, okay. One. One. Nice. I like that step too. It's just center line. Okay, okay. Won't you? Oh, so it goes to the right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can help dodge a little bit. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Hit it. Good hit. Nice. How's that feel? It feels fine, but so, just so two rounds. We'll do three rounds. Yeah, yeah. Three, one, three, one, three. One. Oh, yeah. Three, one, three, one, three. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Yeah, you need your glove on, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you All go. Right. Ready? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, God. Right, Slip it. <laughs> nice. I'm like I'm gonna walk right into it. Oh, it's hard to get in there, huh? Yep. There you go. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, that's good, man. You got it. There it is. Hit that body, man. There it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I got my hands. <sighs> Two minutes ago. <laughs> That's five minutes. Alright, one more round. Alright, let's do it. That's so much cardio so quick. Dude, that's crazy. I can't believe the uh, understanding you have of those positions. Shoot. It's seriously like insane. I'm like... Dude, you're going for it. You're going for it. You, you've hit me with a lot of body shots. Okay. So that's really good. But it's crazy, like... I don't know, I feel like there's nothing different between a body and a headshot, the way I move. Yeah. But you know, like, I'll literally start here, and then you'll be ducking. And I was like, like, I was yeah. like, how did he know from here? Yeah. When I was staring at his body. Yeah. Hey. Good shit. My arms, I can't pick them up. Right. You, you, you got it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, dude, oh, that's good, such man. a workout. Woo! You oh. three rounds. Holy More shit. three rounds each time. That is such a workout. I'm not surprised at all. <sighs> Holy shit, dude, that's such a workout. My arms, I had no idea how they were gonna be feeling. Yeah. <sighs> dude, there was like that point where I was like, I can't lift my arms. That was fun, dude. Dude. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, sorry, dude. Good. Should I go barefoot too? No, no, you're good. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. There's certain things I know you'll do like that a lot of being around is like, you know, always fall for, right? It's, you notice how like I did feints? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing a lot of this, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Where I would step Oh, you in. know what's weird about those feints? Huh. I knew you were doing them and I couldn't, and my body react kept to reacting to them. Yeah. And I, I, I was telling my body like, like, you're good, you're good, you're good. And I quit. This microphone keeps dying. 
All I was saying is that that was really fun. I got really exhausted. The mic, mic died like halfway through. First time ever it's died like that. But that was so exhausting. My arms are so fried. I cannot believe people train, especially YouTubers, and end up doing like 10 matches in a ring. That makes no sense to me at all. You just did like a good solid like five. A total cumulative speaking. First match was five minutes. <laughs> Next two matches were three minutes. Uh, the first match, I think I said, I said, it had to have been three minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we kept going, I was like, nah, we're good. And I looked, I was like, oh my gosh, it's been five minutes. Yeah, I, think, I was like, yes, I set my, my alarm all the time. I'm like, I know it's been five minutes. <laughs> but I was just like, oh, I'll just keep going. But after the first round, like the second round, my arms, I couldn't even hold them up. And I think I said, I was like, I don't think I can go. And then he's like, oh, we got this. And I'm like, you're right. And I just like forced them up. Like I, I no longer was like holding them. I was like pushing them up. I felt like I was doing push-ups. You did good. You lasted the entire time too. Yeah. And then the third, and then I was completely done. And he's like, we should do one more round. And I'm like, yeah, I, knew. I, I figured he was going to say that. <laughs> did then, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was having too much fun, man. I know, I know. And, and I feel bad too, because like he does this, like he trains all the time now. Like how many times a week? Probably five, six. Five or six times a week, he says he'll he aims for two hours, always at least two hours, but then he'll end up doing five, which is such a range. You're like, yeah, sometimes two, most of the times five though, or whatever. I mean, that's the thing, man. You get in there and sparring is like, like what we just did, like even just light sparring, how we're tapping and stuff. Yeah. Like that's a blast. It's yeah, a lot yeah. of fun, you know. Yeah. He's the he's like the tough one, in the well, the tough one in the family. I guess everyone's tough. John's the except tough for one, yeah, man. I'm the tough one. Yeah. I'm the least tough one. I'm the skater artsy kid. But yeah, that was that was fun to try figure yeah, out. And uh, dude, such a good workout. You're trying like the amateur boxing series thing in your. I'm gonna try. We'll see how it goes. He's like man. brand new to it. How long you been doing it? Only well, like nine months now. Only nine I'm months. Still a baby. But he's he's a very he has all this pent up things building for so long. Yeah. That he basically had been doing it his whole life. Twenty plus. Years. He's been he's been punching <laughs> demons his whole life <laughs> internally. <laughs> yeah. So he was ready when he got into the gym. I kind of wish Matthew had his like skating. Like I, I have skating, and skating oh, is where I can go out there. When I funny. fall, I go like, <sighs> like I get to yell too. at the demons. Like I'm like speaking in tongues. Like <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm like, man, Matthew needs like something that makes him speak in tongues. Yeah. And I think uh, I think boxing is it. And it's like way more intense, which is probably what he needs. Ready? What? I thought so many things stretch and crack. Oh, looks so. Dude, I only know. Of course. This is the problem. He's always just been better at everything easily. Let me try to take it. This is it. definitely right. So, since we're already in it, I just figured, hey, we might as well go to City Walk at Universal. And my brother is over there, chilling. And then we're about to get some vegan donuts over here. But yeah, it's kind of hard to film here because you're like accidentally filming everyone's faces. But Matt's like being a tourist, which is great. He's filming everything. How is it? You see me taking pictures? Yeah. yeah. I love Matt. Yeah, Matt's actually freaking out, which I love. <laughs> it is wild, actually. Like, Look at this thing. This thing is so healthy. It's vegan though. <laughs> Everything here is vegan. He got the same thing, but he got two because he's bigger. He needs to burn more energy. Yeah, um, yeah this, is, this is lit. Oh Matt and I decided not to actually go in the park because we were like, should we, should we not? And then I was like, how much does it cost to get in? They're like 150 each. And we were like, yeah, I think that that answers it for us. So yeah. maybe one day, but it's also, it's also like 6:30 p.m. So. Exactly, and I feel like we kind of got a fill in already of a lot of the stuff. But yeah, just the walk alone has just been super, super nice, super relaxing. It looks nice, though. It does look nice. The weirdest thing just happened. We got home and I have a few books I want to show you that I got. But I opened the mail and this is here. It's called Anime Architecture. This one's Hayao Miyazaki. So this one we saw at the store and Matthew pointed it out. And I was like, oh, why is he pointing it out? It's because he bought it for me when? Yesterday? Uh, two days ago, I think. Two days ago. And like by pure coincidence, 
I picked up this book by myself. You picked up and the I, same book. The exact, and I literally said, ah, oh, I should buy this. I mean, there's like so many books in that store. You saw the story. And I was like, ah, oh, I got to chill because I bought like six other books. He saw him buying it and I was like, um. And coincidentally, <laughs> he bought it. Like that's such a weird coincidence. That's sick though. He bought it for my birthday since it happened. <laughs> Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. It's still <laughs> better late than never, as they say. Hell yeah. Ending this video with a bit of a book haul. First of all, Last night, I was sort of talking about how stressed I was about the situation of not being able to do anything in the day. So now I know 100%. It basically just is if the day involves other people, things aren't going to happen. And I, I'm totally cool with that. You basically have to pick one or the other. In my opinion, I think if you're trying to build a solid relationship or you have a solid relationship, you got to devote the day to that. And yes, you can be picky and say, hey, man, I literally have an hour. But to me, my brother's never in town and hanging out with him all day was actually a beautiful, beautiful replacement to my super, super busy, like end to end days. And I'm very glad that we got to hang out. And I'm actually very glad we got the memories and I'm very glad I recorded it. And the first boxing match, I know it was like probably really cringe to watch because you know, I'm very new to it, but boxing is very hard to figure out. Nobody jumps into anything and is just good at it. Especially fighting, it has this very weird connotation where people just think they can fight. And if you fight anyone who actually has training in fighting, you're gonna lose right away. It's just a weird thing. Unless you're just like massive and the other person is really small, you know, you might have a better chance. But first of all, Matthew, he got me this book, the Anime Architecture book. We already talked about that. We have the Hayao Miyazaki book. I'm not going to go through the details, but the books that I actually spent money on ended up being like 150. Like I did not really play around. Was this book, first of all, which I think is a children's book in Japan. It's called The Boring Book. And I guess it's like Shinsuke Yoshitaki. And I think they just write books about really simple ideas, like not being able to get a shirt on, like ideas like that, and they expand them into these children books, which I think is very, very clever. Also, if you know anything about like my art style or anything, it's very East Asian inspired. It's very Hello Kitty inspired as well. And basically anything that emerges from Hello Kitty, like there's like BT21 and uh, there's Line Friends and a lot of that stuff is inspired by Hello Kitty's uh, thing. This is an entire book about Hello Kitty's designs over the years, so that'll be massive inspiration as I move forward. And since I'm also obsessed with sort of retro Asian design, which I think Hello Kitty kind of fits into that, I got a whole book based on retro Japan design called 80s, and then a bunch of Japanese words that I can't read. On top of that, I actually got the first volume of Doraemon manga. I don't think you say it like that, but just that design, look how cool that, that just looks so amazing. Like this kind of design is right up my alley. I think I literally have this page saved on my Pinterest. And then I just love the back design as well. It's just really, really pretty. But the first volume of Doraemon, I can't even read it. I can't read Japanese, but I think that's just something to collect. And also probably just an excuse to spend more money on something that I probably don't need. And the last thing I got is a book about Busan. This is where my mom's from in Korea. And to me, I've always wanted to be a little more connected to my Korean roots. Obviously, as you've probably seen in the videos. So I've been trying to sort of expand my knowledge into that. I really want to learn Korean. That's kind of the thing that I'm really not good at because that just takes so much time. It's essentially like a full-time job to learn another language or it takes a lot of time, hours in the day, hours that I don't really feel like I have right now. It would be cool to spend like 30 minutes or do like an hour less in a week, but that's for the future. So we'll see. So right here, it's, it's what time is it? It's already 816. So we were talking about like utilizing the time, seeing where the time went. My brother and I hung out since I've been home nonstop for that length amount of times. We didn't pause once. We just went straight to the next place, straight to the next place. We actually kind of rushed the way that we were today and we still went, you know, over eight hours straight. And that's just how it is, especially when you need to drive around with Little Tokyo, Glendale, uh, Universal Studios. Like we did so much stuff. It was actually really, it was a really, really, really cool day. And my brother was so stoked on the last one, the Universal City Walk. He was like, this is beautiful and totally agree. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. I hope you, uh, I hope you did. I mean, I'm doing raw vlogs right now because I sort of went into the mindset where it's like, I'm going to quit YouTube. 100%. I hate the way I get to do YouTube. And then once I did that, my brain went, well, what would I do if I just created YouTube videos that I wanted to make? And they were vlogs. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, my brain just goes, I just want to show my life and film my life. And I want to be able to look back on those memories because they're so fun and they're so whatever. And it was like, I just can't focus on views anymore because to me that's, I, I talked about this the other day, 
there's something that destroys my soul when it's like, how do I get people to notice me and get attention? Like that just feels like so slimy and gross. And yes, it can have to do with your life. But I think a lot of people growing up are like trying to get people's attention because you want to be popular. And then YouTube is just an extension of that. Like it really is just like trying to garner more attention for people. And I, I can't feel grosser doing that. So I was like, okay, if I do this, I got to do what I want. I love making videos. I love skating. I love all the stuff you see in the videos. So it's time to just expand on those things because I'd rather build an audience that enjoys watching vlogs than you know, have things go viral all the time that appeals to a lot of people that want one very specific thing that I'm not willing to put all my effort into. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Um, I'm having fun doing these vlogs right now. That fun could run out any minute, but uh, I hope you're enjoying them as well because it's just content. And you know what? I think it's wholesome. I think it's actually pretty unique in the skate sphere. So if you are a skater who's watching it, hopefully I'm bringing you something that you can't really get on any other channel. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.